today I am taking up the characters of phylum Cirenzata and phylum Tinopha. First, I will take up the characters of phylum Cirenzata. The phylum Cirenzata got its name from the presence of the body cavity known as Cirenzron. So these animals have a body cavity called Cirenzron, and that gives the name Cirenzata. This phylum is also known as Nidaria <coughs> because they have stinging cells known as Nidoblasts. So the phylum Cirenzata or Nidaria has stinging cells that help in the defense of the animals. <coughs> then, except for animals like Hydra, all are marine animals. They are found only in sea water. The symmetry exhibited by these animals is radial symmetry. Then, the body organization is at tissue level. Organs have not yet appeared in this phylum. Then, <coughs> sedentaries are either sedentary or free swimming animals. Sedentary animals means they are attached to the substratum and remain stationary. Then, <coughs> Nidarians are diploblastic animals. They have only two germinal layers, ectoderm and endoderm. Ectoderm produces epidermis and endoderm produces gastrodermis. These animals have incomplete digestive system. It means only mouth is present and the anus is absent. As a result, undigested food also leaves the animal through its mouth. Then digestion is both intracellular and extracellular. Mouth is present on hypostome. Here I have drawn longitudinal section of hydra. This is the hypostome. On the top of the hypo hypostome, you find the mouth. Then the hypostome is surrounded by tentacles in the case of polyp. And the hypostome is surrounded by oral arms in medusae, like jellyfish. Then, in this phylum, the respiratory, excretory and vascular systems have not yet appeared. But for the first time, these animals have a simple network-like nervous system. It is known as diffused nervous system. But nerves and sense organs are absent, except for statosis. Statosis are organs of equilibrium or balancing. And they are present in Medusae, which are the free swimming forms. Then, there is one important character in this phylum. If the same animal has both polyp and medusa stages, that animal exhibits alternation of generations. The polyp always reproduces through asexual reproduction and produces medusae. Medusae exhibit sexual reproduction and produce polyp. In this way, sexual and asexual reproductions occur alternatively in the animals having both polyp and medusa. And this is known as alternation of generations or metagenesis. Some animals also exhibit polymorphism. If they have many types of polyps and many types of medusae, it is known as polymorphism. Animals like Physalia, Portuguese man of war, is a good example for polymorphism. Then, the ectoderm and endoderm are separated by mesoglia. Then, <coughs> polyps are generally stationary, whereas medusa is a free swing form. Example for polyp is Hydra and example for Medusa is Aurelia or Jellyfish. In this phylum, reproduction occurs both sexually and asexually. 
and some animals like hydra also exhibit regeneration that means regeneration means the capacity to regrow the lost or missing body parts the power of regeneration is very high in animals like hydra that some animals belonging to this phylum build coral reefs they are or they belong to class anthozoa these corals build large sized reefs and a good example is the great barrier reef present near australia it extends up to 1200 miles in, into the sea the corals are exoskeletons secreted around sea anemones let's come to the examples physalia is commonly known as portuguese man of war anamsia sea anemone pennacula sea pen or sea feather it resembles a feather gorgonium commonly known as sea fan meandrina is known as a brain collar because it resembles the shape of the brain so that is about some of the characters of phylum ciliata now coming to the next phylum phylum tenophora tena means comb these animals have eight external comb like ciliated plates on their body surface that's why the phylum got the name tenophora then all these animals are marine they are exclusively marine then commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies so tenophores are commonly known as comb jellies sea walnuts then the symmetry of these animals is radial symmetry as given in your book but but the actual symmetry found in these animals is by radial symmetry the these are also diploblastic animals like ciliates they have ectoderm and endoderm and these give rise to epidermis and gastrodermis neurosis are absent neurosis which are present in phylum ciliata are completely absent in tenophora instead they got sticky cells known as coloblasts then digestion is both extracellular and intracellular just like cilindrata tentacles and whorl arms are absent and these animals are known for bioluminescence some of them produce very powerful bioluminescence or cold light then separate respiratory excretory and vascular systems are absent just like cilindrata here also the nervous system is diffused it is a net like structure and it lacks sense organs except for statosis these are all free living forms none of them are sedentary then all the tenophores are hermaphrodites that means the same animal has both male and female reproductive systems fertilization is external it takes place outside in the sea water the embryonic development is indirect with one or more larval stages and the body organization is at tissue level so these are some of the important characteristics of phylum tenophora coming to examples pleurobrachia it is commonly known as sea walnut tenophora sorry tenoplana biro etc these are some of the examples so that is about phylum ciliata and phylum tenophora thank you